To be youthful is to be useful. However, we have a challenge in our generation. There are five situations in our generation that the youth find themselves. Number one, most youths are consumers, not contributors. In their father's house, in the, wherever they are, they are looking for what to consume, nothing to contribute. More money, need more of this, I need more of that. It's like a life that is wrapped around themselves. Number two, most youths are concerns, not assets. A concern for the father, a concern for the school, a concern of the community, a concern of the generation. I know of parents who have died because of, of the waywardness of their children. Concerns, not assets. Number three, most youths as spectators, not key players in life. They watch things happen. Never make things happen. Just spectators. Number four. Most youths are destroyers of value and not creators of value. They are the first to dress naked. Destroyers of value, not creators of value. Today, I, I, my, 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 my email has a place where they send a particular news on a daily basis. And there, are, there was a fashion um, show that was done somewhere. And the person that wore the award, won the award a lady musician, was that Rihanna or whatever was her name? She won the award, and the and, and how what 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 did she wear to win the award? It was a cloth that is like glass, it's like wearing glass, transparent glass. The commentator said that the dressing left not nothing was left away from. Left for the imagination to imagine. That won the award of the show. That dressing won the award. And I and, and, and I said to myself, and I said, so it is is this what Satan has empowered people to use to destroy a whole generation? Dressing means cover yourself. When Adam and Eve fell, God used coats. And the Hebrew is like the overall that medical doctors wear in lab coats and technicians wear. God used coats to cover them. But in our generation, most youths destroy value. They don't create it. They are addicted to antinomism. Antinomism. Whatever is against the norm, that is what they want to do. Number four or five, most youths are pace keepers, not pace setters. They just belong to the bandwagon. They belong to the crowd control. They are being impacted without impacting. They are not changing anybody but being changed by everybody around them. All the things I have just mentioned rendered youths useless and not useful. But God wants you not just to be a consumer but a contributor. Not just to be a concern but an asset. Not a spectator, but a key player in society. Not a destroyer of value, but a creator of value. Not a backbencher, but a frontliner. 
not a pace keeper of the pace setter. That was what Joseph was. That was what David was. That was what Daniel was. Tonight, my counsel is fivefold. Number one, as a youth, one, be an asset, a creator of value, like David. Ensure that you are, you, are, you are too valuable to be ignored. To be ignored. Number two, be responsible like David. Don't be an irresponsible young lady, irresponsible young man. Right from my growing up days, if you saw me at the age of 25, I behave like I was 55. I counsel people 20, 30 years older than myself. I will speak, my, my father will, will hear it twice. I spoke one day and he had to repeat it, what I said. I was age 17, and I believe at that time. He was talking about somebody and he said and this person has gone through university and see how he is behaving and i said university is different from maturity he said hear what he said i said no i was i haven't gone anywhere yet i was just a small boy you should we should be able to come to a point where you are responsible number three Develop your potential to be useful like David. Develop your potential. What can you do? Develop it. Number four, deploy your potential. First, be an asset. Two, be responsible. Three, develop your potential. What is your gift? Find it out, develop it. Number four, deploy your potential. And number five, be useful. Be useful. Be useful. Be useful to who? Four categories of usefulness. And we are looking at David, we are looking at Joseph in this key. A, 5A, be useful to God. Concerning David, the Bible calls him the man after God's own heart. Useful to God. What does God feel about you? Does God miss your worship? Does he miss your service? This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Somebody said to me, when you say, Pastor, when you sing, Romy, Romy, Lord, I come running after you. Romy, Romy, Lord, oh Lord. I come running after you. He said, for you it is your experience. He said, we are just singing. <laughs> he said, for you, that is your experience. That is your, that is your realm. He said, we, we are just singing and following. That's what he said, he said to me. He said, that is your realm. That's your realm. Come to the point where God this is you. One day, he made me to know that he recognizes my sin, my voice in worship. And if that voice is not there, he's aware. That is why I'm not permitted to copy another person. Because he's looking out for that voice. Are you 
you hearing what I'm saying here today? Be useful to God. Let God come to the point in your relationship with God where He misses you. So it's been a while I haven't heard from you. It's been a while we haven't spent time together. I miss your sacrifice. I miss, I miss your voice. I miss your impact in the church. David was a man useful to God. Take your seat. Number two, be useful to your family. When everybody left the father's flock, David kept the father's flock. Joseph preserved the destiny of his siblings from famine in the days of famine in Egypt. Be useful to your family. Beloved brothers and sisters, to what extent does your father feel excited at your gift to his life? Does your mother consider you a gift to his life, to her life? Your family? To what extent have you deployed yourself in your family to alleviate issues in your family? How useful are you to your father, to your mother? To my father, to my mother, I have been, will be an asset. You can be useful to your family by the name your impact gives your family. You can make your family name popular by your results. Be useful. David was useful to his family. Joseph was useful to his family. Esther was useful. She delivered her, her, her kindred from the wicked devices of Haman by her impact. Am I communicating? If your father had a farm, when was the last time you walked on a farm? I went to every, everything that my father ever had, I had participated in it. My father had farms. I had been, I had been to his farms once or twice when I'm on holidays. My father ran luxury buses, Lagos to Kaduna, Kaduna to Lagos, Lagos to Kano, Kano to Lagos. I followed the luxury buses, served on the bus, and so on and so forth. Are you useful? When my brother was around. A teenager, they used to send him to buy lorry. A whole brand new. Useful. To what extent have you made yourself valuable and dependable in your family? Useful. Be useful to your family. I have three more minutes. Please sit down. Number four, to the needy. Sorry, to the needy. There is somebody around you in need. How useful are you to that needy person? David was useful to God. He was the man after God's heart. Useful to his family. He was the one that looked after his father's flock. Useful when all his brethren were irresponsible. He was useful. To the mad King Saul who was in need of deliverance. A demon took hold of his head and David stepped in and set him free. When was the last time somebody gained freedom because of you? Hear me. I, my personal problems are zero. If you ever see me up with any concern, it's people's concern. Plenty. Everywhere. Somebody is on the hospital. His liver is cancer. And that person is somewhere. It's, and then you carry the body. You do all you can to see how people can be helped. When was the last time a needy person got relieved of their needs because they came in contact with you? Spiritual needs, financial needs, material needs, marital needs, destiny needs. Finally, Please take your seat. Be useful 
to your generation. Let your generation profit from your life. David was generationally useful. What was that? There was a man called Goliath that faced a whole nation. This boy was 17 years old at that time when he pulled down that Goliath. There are mantles coming on people here today like the singer sang. 